Another thing I'd like to show you is how the radius and the ulna articulate with your humerus. So you'll remember the humerus as the bone of your brachium. Brachium means arm. Antibrachium means forearm. Brachium is arm. Anti, think of before. Antibrachium, before the arm. So before the arm comes the forearm. Antibrachium, brachium. Antibrachium, brachium. Did I say that enough times? Okay, so let's go back to this. Do you remember on the humerus, we had this structure right here? This is called the capitulum, and I told you it was nice and round. Easy way to remember this. The nice round capitulum is where the nice round head of the radius is going to articulate. When you bend your elbow back and forth, back and forth, back and forth like this, these two are articulating with one another. The round head of the radius, the round head of the radius, and the capitulum right there. We also have something called the trochlea. Here's our trochlea. And remember, on the ulna, we had the trochlear notch. The trochlear notch was right here. When I take these two bones and they articulate together, look at how beautifully this fits in. This is you bending your elbow back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So the trochlea on the humerus and the trochlear notch of the ulna are going to fit just nicely with one another. I also mentioned that this region right here, remember we're on the anterior side of the humerus, this region right here is called the coronoid fossa. The coronoid fossa is right where the coronoid process of the ulna is going to actually fit in when you bend your elbow all the way up. And if I flip this around to the posterior side now, I'm going to tap the olecranon with my finger here. The olecranon, when you straighten out your elbow, is going to fit in the olecranon fossa. This is the olecranon fossa of the humerus. It's going to fit in just like that. So again, elbow straight, elbow 90 degree, elbow bent all the way up. You make this nice movement right here, right along the condyle of the humerus, the smooth portion of the humerus, with the trochlear notch fitting right into the trochlea, and again with the radial head of the radius fitting right on the capitulum of the humerus. So they articulate quite nicely.